looming over the surrounding landscape. This cliff is a natural fortification. A Sarkorian fortress once stood here, and the Crusaders built a fort on its ruins. Sadly, the human-built edifices were also turned into ruins. For many years, the place has been ravaged by demons. Welcome to the Green Gates. What we're fighting for? Wedding, fun and laughter? Yeah, maybe. That's not bad. You heard my call. A demoness looks down at you from atop the clump crumbling fortress wall. The same demon you freed from the dungeon in Dresden. The one who appeared in your dream. You are able to observe her properly for the first time, noting her delicate features. The demoness is stunning, but her eerie and unnerving beauty bears only the slightest trace of humanity. Thank you for heeding my call. I... I did not think you would come. Succeeded at perception check. In a flash of insight, you see that Aru... Aru Shelley? Or Aru Shelley? That's a difficult name to... Let's call... Let's just call her Amy. <laughs> Amy was partly hoping that you wouldn't respond to her summons. Um, why did you call me here? I want to help you. You want to know where the demons with unusual powers are coming from? There's a creature here hiding in the fortress right now who is privy to the demon's schemes. Catch her and she will tell you what you want to know. You wear a symbol of Desna around your neck. Ah. Who are you? I am a demon. A succubus who has killed many mortals, but beyond that I am also a heretic. I betrayed the demons, cursed their lords, forswore their beliefs and works, and joined the side of the mortals. I still have not earned forgiveness for everything I've done, not from Desnar, not from the mortals, not even from myself. But I will earn it some day. When the Crusaders finally defeat the Abyss, I will know that I played my part in it. Why are you helping me? I have been helping the Crusaders for the last few years. I spy on the demons, I kill them, I sabotage their weapons. I pass on information about their plans to the mortals via the priests of Desnar in Kinabris. I do all this because she drops her gaze and ends in a near whisper. I don't want to be one of them. Why should I trust you? I don't know. Succubus throws up her hands. I'm a demon. And I know this looks an awful lot like a trap. Everything I'm telling you could be a well-crafted lie. I've done nothing to deserve your trust. You wear a symbol of Desna around your neck. You swear on her name, please, that you are telling the truth. Amy presses the silver butterfly to her heart. I swear on it. I am on your side. If I am planning something wicked, may Desna strike me down where I stand. Well, let's say I believe you. What then? There is a hag by the name of Yairunika hiding in this fortress. She lived here before the fall of Sakorus, but... When the demons arrived, she was happy to throw in her lot with them. This senile old cannibal knows many secrets, including the one you seek. Beware, you are dealing with a creature that is very old, very devious and very dangerous. She may not be a demon, but she can move like one. If you hesitate, she will slip from your grasp before you even know it. Fortunately, there is a relic of Desna in this fortress, the Bell of Mercy. It will help you catch the hag. Like a cat in a mouse trap. N no way, you don't say that, do you? Like a mouse in a cat trap? Uh, never mind. What matters is that you must catch her. What can you tell me about this hag? Mm, did you know that there are different kinds of hags? Jarunika is one of the more terrifying types. An anise hag. This flesh eater possesses frightening evil magic powers. She is not a demon, but she's far more cunning than many inhabitants of the abyss. Don't listen to her rigmarole and don't believe her evasions. Just grab her, put a knife to her throat, and demand straight answers. And don't forget, like demons, she can travel huge distances using magic. But the sound of the bell will stop her from slipping away. And don't listen to her, kill her immediately. 
You've thought of everything, haven't you? I wonder what it is she might tell us. Are you certain you're not hiding anything from us, demon? That's fair. How will this spell help us? It is an ancient relic of Desna. Crusaders brought it here when there was still hope that Sakors could be retaken easily. Then the world wound expanded and the Crusaders were forced to retreat, leaving the bell behind. The demons tried to corrupt it or destroy it, but they couldn't. The bell burned them when they touched it. They managed to rip the bell's clapper from it, but they didn't take it far. Look for it, it should be around here somewhere. Desenar imbued the bell with powerful protective magic. If you strike it, all demons and their ilk inside the fortress will be unable to move. Even the hag cannot move, she will not be able to evade you. How do you know the hag would be here? Mm, we know each other of old. Actually, that's, that's not quite true. We have never met in person, but I have been tracking her for quite some time. She shows up here and there, but every time I try to pin her down, she vanishes. I hope this time she won't slip away so easily. Amy seems agitated. <laughs> so should I really call her Amy? I'm just Arushale? Or Arushale? Arushale? Quite difficult. I mean, there are several ways to pronounce this. I'd have to choose, pick one. Um, I'm not going to decide that now. And you detect a tremor in her voice. It seems hunting this hag means an awful lot to her. But you have a sneaking suspicion that the succubus has not told you the full story. Mm, can you help me fight the hag? With a smile. Amy runs a finger along the string of her bow. Naturally. I understand. Let's do it. May Desnar aid us. Amy vanishes into the shadows. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's most definitely a trap. What is this odd cloud? Of... Hmm, I don't know. Something. Let's prove their logic is lacking. What? Where's his weapon? What the heck? Uh, that's not the plan. Where? Ah, oh, there it is. Soul shear. Dude, where's? Why did your weapon disappear? Hmm. Speed. A rodent's wrath. This holy scabbard, while equipped Altus Paladin Smite Evil class ability, changing the type of AC bonus it grants from deflection to sacred. Additionally, the Furwarer's first attack every round deals additional divine damage. Oh, hello there. That's a very powerful ability. Um, I have no need for this. Wait, isn't that bracer? Usable item. Ah, wait, what? Usable item. Is it gone if I use it I once? Stand ready. Or can I... Eh? I don't quite understand. Uh, okay. Well, I can't use it like this. Um, take off. So, what? I have no idea what this does. Okay, odd. That is quite a discovery. I will see this through. I was successful in my search. I have managed. The deed is done. Let us press on. Defeat is not an option. Retreat is not an option. Kneel before me. Your pain is my pleasure. 
together we stand. Our time has come. Can't hide from me. We march ahead. The deed is done. It went splendidly. That is quite a discovery. Bell of Mercy Clapper. The demons could not destroy Desna's sacred relic, but they did manage to silence it for a time. Oh, perfect, here it is. Now we just need to find the bell. Our path leads on. We will prevail. Guide us. Ah, Amy, my dear, are you there? And you brought friends? Ah, good, good. All the more for me. Oh, dear. No time for debates. <laughs> Retreat is not an option. <laughs> Reprobates. The beaten hag cowers on the rocks. Gone is the terrifying monster you were just fighting, and in its place is a small and frightened old woman. Oh, we didn't find the bell yet. Why do you treat an old biddy like me so harshly? Haven't you any shame, you great brutes? Don't listen to her, she's just stalling for time. Amy raises her weapon. What do you know about the demons with the strange abilities? Where are they coming from? Speak. What demons? What are you on about? Under... Amy's cold gaze, the hag's face breaks into a grandmotherly smile. Ah, ah, now those demons. Wouldn't they be friend of yours, Amy? Aru, dear? Aru. Okay, we're going to call her Aru. What are you picking on poor old me for, then? I tell you everything I know, but you'd know far more than me on that score. The color drains from Aru's face, and the hag's smile grows wider, stretching from ear to ear. Ah, oh, my little chicken. Don't tell me you haven't told your new toys all that. You kept it to yourself, did you? The hag bursts into a screeching laughter before turning her gaze on you. Take pity on an old woman. Let me go before anyone's harm's done. You'd better have a word with your little demoness about those demons. You liar. I've never been to the Ivory Sanctum. Arush... Arush's desperate outburst is drowned out by another round of crackling from the hag. Where is it you say you've never been, eh? Where? Like you haven't been sniffing around it, seeing who comes and who goes? Didn't see all that? I suppose you don't even know the password neither, eh? The hag looks at you. You are demons, girls lying through her teeth, as per usual. Aru, is this true? You've known all along where the strange demons were coming from? I... You don't understand, I... Aris drops her gaze. I lied to you. I used you. I could have told you where to look for those demons right away, but I needed someone who could help me get rid of the hag. When I was freed from the dungeons of Dresden, a demon set her on my trail, and I could not have dealt with her single-handedly. Hearing this, the old woman lets out a screeching crackle, crack, crack, crackle that shakes her whole body. What are you laughing at? It doesn't matter what I've done. You won't be leaving here alive. 
A demon using lies and manipulation to get what it wants. This just not surprise me. What just surprises me is that you've done this in an attempt to prove that you are somehow different from her. Good. Let her go, Aru. Let her leave. No, you, you don't know what kind of monster she is. We can't let her go. Hmm. Or at least we performed a good action. With unmatched speed, Aru attacks the hag. She screeches a last rasping cackle, which soon turns into a strangled gurgle. Uh, you and I need to have a very serious chat. Aru Chalet's eyes are plain too as she holds your gaze. There is much I have to explain, to confess. But first, please, there's something I want to show you. Come, it's not far. Aru Chalet approaches the grave, which is small but supply surprisingly well maintained given the surrounding squalor and neglect. Yeah, just stuff. <laughs> Growing in front of it. Aru Chalet touches the cold stone, decorated with a Desna butterfly, like she is greeting an old friend. Or maybe this is the reason why she turned anti demon. Silently, she turns to you. She retrieves a map from her bag, makes a mark on it, and holds it out to you. First things first. Here, I wasn't lying to you about this. That's where you'll find the Ivory Sanctum and in it, secret of the demons with their strange powers. The entrance is hidden under a pile of skulls. I don't know how to open it, and I've never been inside, but cultists enter it somehow, which means that you can find a way to get inside. Ah, uh, thank you for the map. I appreciate your help. Succubus shakes her head. I lied to you. You trusted me, and I used you to get rid of the hag. This doesn't assuage my guilt, but it is the least I can do. Who does this grave belong to? My last victim. She was a priestess of Desna. I seduced her and drained her soul. She died in my arms, and I, I decided to bask in her final reveries, so I dive, dove into her fading mind. Dreams are Desna's domain. The god is noticed by sacrilege, but for some reason she showed me mercy instead of punishment. She opened my eyes to who I was and who I could be. When I returned to my senses, the first thing I did was bury my final victim here and to make a vow before her grave that I would atone for everything I had done. I didn't even know who she was. I seduced her, deceived her and killed her, and she saved my soul. Arushalais wipe her eyes. If only I could die and give her back her life, but I can't, Morgraine. All I can do is live on and help those who are still alive. How did you know the hag would be here? When I was freed in Dresden, the demon set her on my trail. She failed to catch me, but it took a hostage of a sort. Arushalais once again runs her fingers over the granite tombstone. She threatened to corrupt this grave if I didn't come here and surrender. I knew I could not defeat her on my own, so I used you. I used a lie to get you here so you would help me kill her. Forgive me. I am sorry. How did you know about the Bell of Mercy? Well, this place, the, the fortress and the bell tower, we didn't even use them. <laughs> I saw them in the dreams of the person lying in this grave. She was on her way here for the bell. She wanted to take it from here and return it to the Crusaders in Kinables. But she never made it. Because because she met me. I killed her and I devoured her dreams. Or rather, they devoured me. That's why, when I re-emerged from the dream realm, I buried her here. I thought it was the right thing to do. I've wanted to return the bell to the Crusaders for a long time, but... She brings a hand to her face. The barest brush and the bell burns my impure fingers. 
Why did you have to lie? You could have just asked for help. I was afraid. Afraid that you would refuse. There was nothing in it for you. I was afraid you wouldn't believe me and... I'm a demon, Morgraine. For centuries it was all I knew. If you want something, you get it by lying or by force. Uh, Russia approves. Luring you here was so easy, so natural. Lies and manipulation. Russia's approval rises again. They are my native language. One I have spoken my entire life. Now uh, the Soviet Union agrees. Asking for favor? Now that is a foreign notion that I have only begun to learn. Although Soviet Union very much approves of that one. Never ask for favors, lie and deceive. Thank you, you um, have successfully made humanity worse. Mm, I don't think I'm trying to justify what I did. I know my lie was despicable. I know that perfectly well when I lied to you. I knew it was a step backward, but back to the old Arushale and I still did it. There is no excuse for it. I just want you to understand me. Everything is... No. So, what are you going to do with me? Arushale waits with beat, bait, bated breath. Her eyes locked on yours. You see fear and sadness there, and also the tiniest flicker of hope. I sincerely hope the Fifth Crusade will not be the latest casualty in the long line of endeavors that endured in ruin because someone decided to trust the word of a demon. Will she join? I believe you at this time. Mm. I'm just wondering, serve me. It's quite interesting, but can I save? No, that's a problem. Um, I just need to look this up on the World Wide Web. If, um, I'm not sure if we have to choose the evil path. I want her in our squad. Uh, um, join squad. Oh, we can romance her. At least someone googled that. Um, how to recruit all party members. Perfect. Okay, Sila, Camellia, Blum, Ninion. Some companions are inside the first city of Kinabris and should be found before liberating the city. What? Volgif? Ninion, Ember, Darren. Oh. Rogue Eldred Scoundrel, Ninion, Kitsune, True Neutral Wizard. Ninion was found randomly traveling through the streets of Kinabris. What? Volgif is locked up in the cell under the De Defender's Heart Tavern. Oddly enough. Any time during Act 3, wander around the world map and one may randomly find Volgif in the entourage of cultists. Defeat or trick... Ah, okay. Blah. Sorcier, Regil, Blah... Arushale, yes. It's a succubus, chaotic, neutral ranger, espionage expert, okay. Um... Head to the eastmost cave... Wait, what? At both, there will be three prompts. A vision of Arushali will appear. Good. Uh, middle cells recruit. Um, okay. Travel there, agree to slay the hag. After, Arushali will now join with two extra levels. So, will she join if we choose good now? Apparently, um, it's also possible to recruit her earlier. Apparently there was a way to have a vision of her before and then when you would have met her in the dungeon she would already have joined you, but I forgive you and please try to forgive yourself. Thank you, I will try. Where ah well I suppose well wait No, please don't go. I want you to stay with me. Yes. Alright, I'll stay. Succubus looks at you. Stunned, in her eyes you see a mixture of fear, hope, and something completely unnatural to demons. Something fragile and tender, making her remarkable similar to a mortal. Oh, perfect. Our question just is, who are we going to throw out? 
Um. Hmm. He served his purpose, right? Goodbye. <laughs> we don't need him anymore. Except, perfect. Hmm. This grave is well tended. It's much more recent than the chapel beside it. There's no name on the tombstone. All in an elegant butterfly of Desnar. Oh, we have new level up. Perfect. A paladin. Do we really need to level up anymore? Mark of Justice. Is there anything of interest here? Mercy. I mean, all of this is just power of faith. Nimbus of light increases in size. Yeah, but I don't really care about that. Divine weapon bond, I don't care. Holy champion. At 20th level, a paladin becomes a conduit for the power of the go her god. Her DR increases to 10 slash evil, and whenever she channels positive energy or uses lay on hands to heal a creature, she heals the maximum possible amount. Well, that's very good. Hmm. Okay, so let's continue this path. Next. Um, all of this needs to go up. Feet. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What is shield master? Your mastery of the shield allows you to fight with it without hindrance. You do not suffer any penalties and attack rolls made with a shield while you are wielding another weapon. And you add your shield's enhancement bonus to attack and damage rolls made with a shield as if it were a weapon enhancement bonus. Okay, selective channel. You get a third attack with your offhand weapon. Mm, no. Shield master for now. Very well. Um, Camellia, she still... What was her weapon of choice? Right, a javelin. Well, the choice that I gave her. Um, everything needs to go up here. Deadly aim. Mm, many shot. Bow. Can she even use a bow? Why does she have a javelin if, we, if she could use a bow? A bow would be much better. So can she use a bow? No, she can't use a bow. Well, that's relatively important to, to know. Long spear, crossbows, useless. Look at the damage. Okay, javelin, that's not a good one. Okay, so javelin by choice. Or by necessity, you could say. Um, but that means that anything that will improve a bow will not help us very much, so... Mm. Don't carefully aim your shots. Mm, range weapon attacks. Um, many shot, yeah, bow useless. When wielding a ranged weapon, you threaten squares within your melee range. You can make attacks of opportunity within that range. Why not? New spells. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, hello there. Raise the dead. Ooh. Kimura rune mass. Perfect. Very good. Um. What about her? Scroll servant? I definitely like the, the artwork of this in this game. Mmm. Feet. Ah, uh, greater spell focus. No. Arcan armor training. I don't need that. What's deceitful? Persuasion trickery skill. I don't care. <coughs> hmm. Iron will. I mean, so much to do here. Greater disarm, dirty trick, bull rush. Don't need any of that. Precise shot. Can th shoot or throw ranged weapons at an opponent engaged in melee without taking a standard penalty. Greater spell focus. I would like the game to decide what kind of upgrades this one gets, but. Apparently that doesn't work like that. I mean, uh, there is an option, but it just says that all other characters will also have automatic leveling up then, and that's not what I want. Spells. What do we have? 
infinitesimal putrefaction. You implant within the minds of your target the illusion that their skin is rotting away. Large rents are appealing all over their body, and their intestinal organs are spilling out into a putrid, half-liquid mess at their feet. What the? Um, that sounds terrible. Cat's grace mess. Chain light. Ooh. Chain lightning. Hello there. Chains of light. Mobilized. Mm, cloak of dreams. Dragon kind. What? You become a medium dragon glad creature. Wait, what? You gain a plus four size bonus to strength. Consider what? Um. Hello there. Um. What? <laughs> this game. <laughs> ah. Hellfire ray. A blast of hellfire blazes from your head. Damn. Zero. Furnace hot winds blast up. Damn. Extra planar blizzard. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Transformation. Fighting machine. Um. Holy moly. There's so much goodness going on here. The heck am I supposed to choose here? I mean, everything is awesome here. Hello there. Um. Okay. Let's go for Summon Monster 6 for now. Damn. Dragon kind. Well, hello there. How can I. Where is Dragon kind? Change shape. I don't care. I want Dragon kind. Flare. Wait, what? Snowball, color spray, blinding ray, visibility field, point blank shot. Um, dismiss spell. Where is. Eh? Shouldn't she have character? Life in the name of science. Oh, the story on. That's nice. Angelic Halo. Yeah. Mm. Abilities. Special abilities. Feats, traits. Shouldn't we class eh? Where so I'm going to turn into a dragon ability? Or maybe I don't really understand the spell system. Maybe it's just a very general unlock, but you then every character that wants to use such a spell needs to have very specific unlocks. Maybe we don't meet those. Um that which was forgotten, okay. That doesn't really help me. You Where is... I want to transform into a dragon. Or maybe we can only do it in combat? But I don't think so. Oh, Inspire Rage. Visibility. Blinding Ray. Well, there's no turning into a dragon here. Decide so, is that... That does bother me a bit. Yeah, it's not here. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's just upgrade the other ones. Amber. Which feed breath of experience? I don't care. She is one that heals. So spell synergy, no endurance, fortitude, elven immunities, enchantment spells. I don't really care about that. Initiative. Weapons, we don't need that. It's a magic. Mm, make your spell last twice as long. Mounted combat. I don't have any mounts. Skill focus. Stealthy, no. Ability focus, critical mastery. Allied spellcaster. Do we have anything that improves healing even further? During arcane focus. No, we can't do that. Combat casting. Adept at spell casting when threatened or distracted. Why not? Two spells. What do we have here? False life, bone shaker, mm. web, find trap. Faster. Mm, avoid death. Why not? Choose spell. What else do we have here? Heroism. 
Spell imbues a single creature with great bravery and morale in battle. Dispel magic. Dispel magic to end one ongoing spell. Remove disease. Ooh. Remove curse. Why not? Remove curse. And dimension door. Some monster, some revelation. Okay, let's go for dimension door. Teleporting. Another spell, the heck? Baleful polymorph. You say you change the subject into a dog. <laughs> okay. Terminate person. Cloud kill, break enchantment. The spell frees victims from enchantments, transmutations, and curses. Okay. Let's go for defensive spells first. Complete perfect. You and our friend Red Chill. Um, he needs to improve his being as a Hell Knight. Mm, greater to weapon fighting. Well, he fights with one hand. Uh, with, with, with one weapon. Choose one type of weapon. Use the threat range is doubled. Piranha strike. No. Combat expertise. Um, as of experience, combat casting. You may make a uh, number of additional attacks or opportunity per round equal to your dexterity bonus. Okay, why not? Force of will. Um, will saves or compulsion. Stitch. Um, at third level, a hell knight gains a plus two will save against spells. Okay, sixth level, another sub. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Force of will. Charm. So we're going with fear. Disciplines. Oh. Second discipline. The Hell Knight can use any discipline a number of times per day. Okay, so it's an active ability. Sensor. We can strike the creature mute. Hmm. The Hell Knight can use greater command as a spell like ability. What is that? Spell functions like command. Start of each creature, the commander creature's turn of the first it gets another will save to attempt to break free from the spell. What about onslaught? As a free action, a hell knight increases his base speed by 10 feet and gains um, a plus 4 bonus to his strength for one round. Phantomic faith. Oh dear. Mm, what should we have here? Repair damage to objects. Animate objects with life and create objects from nothing. What? Lord domain. Whoa! Why? <laughs> Why? Look at this. <laughs> Reading all of that would be an entire episode. What is this game? Tech tracker can summon a creature to aid him in battle as if using a summon monster spell. Uh, Hell Knight can summon a wolf. A ninth level Hell Knight can summon a Hellhound. Okay. Why not? I'm fine with summoning stuff. And our newest member, Arushele. Um. Ay, ay, ay. Are we going to discover the rest of this? And after that? Well. We're going for the next episode. What? <laughs> Until next time.